Hello, Slimy in here. Welcome back to Diary of Wimpy Kid Double Down. I probably skipped a few pages, so I want to read out to page 50. So let's get started. But whoever created that thing that set the volume too high, there's no way you could turn it down. You'll have to wait for the witch to go through its whole routine, which is, t which is two minutes long. We hung it over the front of the porch last year, but the little kids were too scared of the thing. And the only trick or treaters we had were the teenagers who came by after 10 p.m. The day after Halloween, Dad put the witch on the shelf in the furnace room in the basement, and that's where it's been ever since. But that doesn't matter. But that doesn't mean it stopped causing problems. The witch is super sensitive to sound, and sometimes the slightest noise will set it off, even if the noise is on the floor. <laughs> to make matters worse, the witch seems to have a mind of its own, and will even go off randomly even though it makes a peep. I've had at least two, two sleepovers and and early because of that thing. That made a lot of sleepovers. I've been trying all year to convince mom and dad to throw that the witch away. But dad says it's just plastic toy. I need to be I need to stop being such a scaredy cat. But I guess Mom got sick of the witch randomly going off all the time, and a few weeks ago she just told Dad to go downstairs, take it, take the batteries out, and which he did. And what happened next is the reason I've been in the furnace room ever since. That's what stings about all my old Halloween costumes are down in the furnace room. So unless Mom is willing to spring for something new, I guess I'm not going to trick or treating this year. We all hurt we all we all the hard work we put into decorating for Halloween yesterday got wiped out. A bunch of geese got out of Jack Lanterns in the middle of the night and made a huge mess. Every fall Geese flying south for the winter to make a pit stop in our town and stick around for a few weeks before heading back out. Usually they poop all over the soccer field and in the town park, but other than that, they're pretty harmless. For some reason, though, this year they're super aggressive towards people. For the past few weeks, me and Rowley have been getting ambushed about every day on a rock home from school. Honk. And these geese weren't just going after kids either. Whenever Dad goes out to get the mail, he's got his... <laughs> he's, got ar he's got to arm himself for battle. Dad wants to call animal control to clear the geese out of the street, but Mom will let it hiss. Mm-hmm. <laughs>